just arrived into Florence from Venice. Uh, we just checked into our hotel, getting onto the streets, gonna head up towards the markets and get ourselves that Lambradotti I've been talking about. So sit back, grab yourself a feed and a drink, and enjoy the show of Florence. of Florence. Had to line up for about 10 minutes to get it. Got the salsa verde in there. The top of the bun's dumped, dumped into the sauce. And then obviously we've got tripe. So we get into it and let you know how it goes. Oh, it's very nice. Nice subtle beef flavour, but give it a try. The remnants of the Lambradotti. Even the wife, who had thought you would never eat tripe, actually enjoyed it. So go get one, guys.
Alrighty, we just uh, walking past a little pastry shop and saw these and had to stop in and get a couple. I got the apricot, with, oh, it's a butter tart with apricot. And Liz, my wife, got a butter tart with pistachio. One bite, one just. Mm -mm. Alrighty, here we go. To start with, we've got some potato, homemade potato ravioli with meat sauce and pongi, which is obviously mushroom. It smells awesome. And just got put down our margarita. That's probably the best looking crust we've seen since we've been in Italy. That <coughs> potato ravioli with the mushroom and meat sauce is beautiful. Really mushroomy, nice bounce of a bolognese sauce through the background. And that margarita pizza, best we've had so far. Just a quick one, if you come to Florence, come to the restaurant that you'll see the picture of any minute. It's the best pizza we've had in Italy so far. Now for the 
Rose uh, will go on the Panacrovas and Wildberries. I'll have a taste for you to see. Never had a panacotta like that before. Absolutely gorgeous. The perfect panacotta waddle. That's what we call it now, the panacotta waddle. This is the leather market during the night. Everything is packed up and taken away. Yet this whole street, as far as the eye can see, in the morning will be all markets. I'll show you. So day two. We've walked probably about 120 kilometers in about eight days since being here. So today we decided to walk to the top of the Diomo, which is gonna be a hell of a lot of stairs, but the view's meant to be awesome from the top. So we'll see you guys at the Diomo. And as I showed you last night, guys, the street was empty with these guys. Now as far as the eye can see, they've set up for the day. If you want leather, go there though. Another quick bit of advice for you all. Uh, try to get to these places as early as you can. Yesterday this line was double the length. We blew it off and went somewhere else. So we're here at quarter past eight. I'd even get here at quarter to eight if you want to get closer to the front. We've only got about a half an hour, 40 minute wait instead of two hours today. Just another quick uh, tip, advice. When you get to the Diomo, none of the gates, you can purchase tickets. So you gotta go to the ticket office, purchase your ticket, and it'll get you into all four attractions. But if you really wanna get up to the top of the dome to walk around it, you have to pre-purchase your tickets a while in advance. We're here on Friday, and the next opening is not until Monday, so we can't do it. But here's the main entrance to the Diomo. And your ticket office is just over there. So go grab your tickets before you wait in line for like 40 minutes like we did. So that video just prior was in the Basilica, the standalone building. Now we're going to climb to the top. So pre-purchase your tickets and pre-order them back home if you want to go all the way up to the top there.
463 steps later. That's why the dome's put uh, booked out to Monday.
have just walked from up there all the way back down to here. Worth it. Hello, never heard of that made before, and of course a good old mortadella. Oh, yum! It's like a cross between a prosciutto and a ham or something. I know they're the same, but that is beautiful. Got the caparello, and now for the mortadella, and they've all got a cream cheese. Absolutely to die for. Mm. Really fresh tasting mortadella. Beautiful. Alright, these panini are so good, so fresh. We've had to stop, well, not stop, but we've got ourselves a third one. This one looks like a prosciutto with some artichoke on there. We'll go into it. That's not prosciutto, but that you can see that fat on it. That is such tasty meat. Try everything when you get here. These are so tasty, I'm tempted to pour a fourth one, but better not. But as you can see, these guys literally serve them, slice up new ones, get fresh ones in there. These lines are for some of these paninis. We blew past them because we're not going to wait 20 minutes, half an hour for panini. And we found absolutely gorgeous ones. So don't always rely on where the lines are. We just came to purchase our tickets for the Statue of David for tomorrow. And that's our line today. Yesterday I was up around that corner. No idea. So we're going to go smash it out now. Crostinis. So I just show you what we got. Not sure what the white paste one is over here. That's obviously bruschetta, olive, and that's a prawn one. We've got that. When you're here, it looks like tzatzini or something like that, but it is absolutely beautiful. Get it. Ten seconds later. So just walking the quaint little streets in Florence and we came across this place. Haven't ordered yet, but it looks very traditional and we're very much looking towards it. Alright, so for starters we got bread and vegetable soup. Looks awesome, I'll have a taste and I'll let you know how it is. Stroni, but thicker and better. So, for dinner, we just picked ourselves up a papadella with rabbit and a spaghetti with anchovies, um, capers, and tomato. Wow, try the rabbit when you get here. That is absolutely gorgeous. That papadella is el dente, and then you got this nice. Almost wild beefy flavour through it. It is beautiful. 
and that anchovies is just singing through that pasta. I really can't tell you which one's better. Just every not a forkful, I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely perfect pasta. Absolutely perfect rabbit and papadilla. <clears throat> These fried vegetables. Never had a better life before. Get the fried vegetables in here as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so just another quick uh, bit of advice. Come and check the times when it's closed, but it's actually closed today. The cathedral and the bridge. No biggie. We'll do more exploring. Look at an archaeological dig. So we are actually right underneath a big building above us, which is the guard tower and battlement. So obviously, while building up above, they found all this. And they're keeping it nice and uh, pristine for all of us. The winter crowds. Imagine this in summer. So we just stopped at this little place with these tarts again because they were so good. I got myself a hot apple pastry with a pistachio, a ricotta cheese with pink jam. And of course, we've got all Nutella. Buttery of paste, buttery of pastry, absolutely beautiful. Wow, that is so tasty. It's gone caramelized on the bottom. It's warm, fluffy, it's appley. Just absolutely beautiful. Try it when you eat. Well, they were so tasty, I just had to go get the one with the cream custard fill. So I'll get into that, and I'm sure it won't last more than three seconds. Mm, mm, mm. That's like the nicest 
custard I've ever had. It's so creamy and smooth and that pastry again, just perfect. <gasps> a couple of nice beanos, reds. Over here we've got a raw ham, which is obviously prosciutto. We've got a spicy salami. And then we've got a cooked ham with some artichoke and some of their Florentine cheese. I'm not going to explain to you how good they are because they are all just delicious. Well, they're not lasting more than three or four seconds each. You can get them toasted or fresh. And those three plus two glasses of wine cost us 10 euro. Oops, had to go get two more. I mean, for a dollar each, pretty much. How can you complain? Alright, well, unfortunately, we can't stop hitting them, so we just went and got this pizza one with ham, cheese, and bloody good stuff. So Let me get into it. So we found this cute little wine bar last night. Just stopped in for another couple of drinks. I might just drop this on the table for us. The smell come off and it's gorgeous. Find yourself some nice quaint little wine bars when you They're generally down the side alleys, not on the main strips. down to Florence, Google this name and come have a wine and some uh, aperitivo here. You won't go wrong. Such nice guys inside. Everything is just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and this is our quaint little restaurant for our last dinner. I'll show you when the food comes. I got a uh, breaded meat cutlet and the wife got some chicken with oregano. So, uh, dinner has just arrived. I've got breaded meat with some chips, some vegetables, zucchini, carrot, and spinach. And the wife got some chicken strips with oregano and spinach. Smells delicious, looks delicious. We're getting stuck in. Okay, those French fries are some of the best chips I've ever had. That breaded meat, not sure what meat it is, but it's absolutely gorgeous. The oregano chicken, delicious. As you can see, the wife just towing away. Doesn't even want to talk to me while she eats. What was that? Yummy. I'm just walking. Found these little mint tart. Well, what we would call mint tart, but loaded with sugar on top. Delicious. Well that's Florence done. Thanks for joining us while we've been here. It's been such a beautiful city. Great food, great sights. We're off to Rome now so hit that sub button, hit that bell notification button and uh, share these videos if you're enjoying them guys. And we'll see you in the arena when I'm taking on a gladiator. See ya.